guys, I'm Tash and welcome back to the Microsoft 365 Sip. Now, sipping on a strong coffee isn't going to stop me from missing my manager's important emails, but color coding names in Outlook will. Let me show you how. How do we achieve this master color coding? Conditional formatting in Outlook. So why do we need color coding in Outlook? Um, because let's face it, Outlook can be quite messy. You could have subscription emails. You can even just scroll through and overlook an email sometimes. It, it happens. You can just use color coding for your manager even if you want to. So that way when you scroll through and you see red, you know that you can find that email. You don't have to color code for everyone. So in Outlook, go to the view tab. Once you've selected view, go to current view and select view settings. Look for the button conditional formatting, select add to add in your rule. We're gonna call this rule manager panic alert. Now select font. You can choose any color, but I've chosen red. Make sure everything else remains the same. Click okay and now add your condition. The condition is the part where we're saying the email must be from our manager. So in the from uh, button is all we need to put in our manager's email address. In this instance, the 365sip at gmail.com is my manager. That's all I need to change. I simply hit OK, OK again, and OK one more time, and success. As you can see, my all my manager's emails moving forward will now be read. So that's how you set up color coding and conditional formatting in Outlook. It helps to give Outlook a personality, chill vibes for your friends, maybe a yellow or an orange, or even maybe a pink for your bestie. But when it comes to your manager, red color, red alert, don't miss that email, grabs your attention, it'll save you every time. Thank you for following the Microsoft 365 SIP. If you would like some more Microsoft 365 tips, please like and subscribe. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Bye.